Well, this is a, it's a small insect that we call them boatmen or oarsmen, and they're actually quite common. If you ever see one from above, you'll see why they're named that. They have two oars that are how they paddle around the surface. Uh, and this was taken in the backyard photo studio. He's actually upside down on a lily leaf in this picture. You can tell by all of the bubbles that are hanging there. So it's just a very common animal, but with a 60 millimeter macro lens from a, just a couple few inches away, uh, it just shows you a different look at an animal that you would assume is solid black when you see them with the naked eye. This is a 60 millimeter lens at uh, minimum focus, which means that the port of my camera housing was within about two or three inches of the animal. So there's very little water between the glass and him. So even though on this particular day, there probably wasn't even you know four or five feet of visibility in the pool, you don't really notice it in the scene because you're seeing such a small section. When you shoot this macro, uh, your depth of field basically goes away you have maybe a millimeter of, of depth of field so the bokeh that you get where the image fades from focus before and after his eye is pretty much unavoidable this was shot at f22 which is the smallest aperture the lens offers and uh a about as much depth of field as you can get. This image actually was was in my editing program for about two years. I just didn't think it really had any marketing value to anybody or any sharing value. And I entered it into a photo contest that had a freshwater category, thinking, well, this is something that a lot of people don't see. And uh, it was shortlisted and here we are talking about it today, but it's just kind of makes me smile because that thing sat in my computer for about two years.